I'm going to start by turning off the green light. This leaves a red light separated from a blue light by about 8 inches. That'll be important to understand the shadows. When the red light and the blue light shine on the board, they scatter off the board and you see a magenta color. When I make my shadow, I see two different shadows. The light from the red light, it makes a shadow here. Watch that shadow as I turn the red light on and off. So this is the shadow of the red light. And over here, this is the shadow from the blue light. The blue light is in a different position. So it fills in the shadow from the red light. And the red light fills in the shadow from the blue light. That's why we have red and blue shadows in a magenta board. The important concept to understand the colored shadows is that light travels in straight lines. I'm going to show that using this ruler. I'm going to put the one end of the ruler at the center of the red bulb. It shows the light traveling along one path to the screen. Of course, light from the red bulb hits everywhere in the screen, traveling in straight lines. However, along this path, if I put the pencil there, the pencil blocks the light traveling in the straight line along the ruler and makes a shadow on the wall. However, light from the blue bulb also travels in straight lines, and its straight line misses the pencil and fills in the shadow from the red light. 